Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Today I'm talking with Anatoly Maxingchuk, Ultrafast Optical Scientist at the University of Michigan. Welcome, Anatoly. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you so much for, for having me. Yeah, and so you've got some exciting news over there at the University of Michigan. You could tell us a little bit about that. Yes, sure. So we activated uh, the first stage of, of the Zeus uh, laser and deliver its beam to the experiment and produce some successful results. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is one more year to, to go to, to complete um, the Zeus project and produce uh, three petawatt uh, laser pulses and to bring those pulses on a target. Okay. And so what exactly does Zeus stand for? For people that may not be familiar, um, so the Zeus stands uh, for um, uh, zettawatt equivalent ultra short uh, pulse laser system. So the National Science Foundation is funding the construction of three petawatt Zeus facility at the University of Michigan. So once commissioned and it is planned in 2023, Zeus. Um, uh, is intended to operate as a um, uh, NSF sponsor user facility and um, uh, you offer access to external users uh, on a merit based peer review proposal system. And once completed, this system will be the highest uh, power laser system in the US and will among the highest power laser uh, worldwide for the next decade. Okay, wow. That's so exciting. But so, this happened and uh, just once, just only once a minute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Right. So Zeus will have three main modes of operation supporting experiments. And uh, that is using, uh, it can use three petawatt uh, beam on a target or have a dual beam, 2.5 petawatt and 500 terawatt. And also we have possibility to use approximately 300 uh, terawatt at high repetition rate, one to five hertz. Also laser will have possibility to uh, to use um, about 75 joule uh, shock driver that is for high energy density uh, physics experiment. So all this, uh, all this possibility uh, are very ex exciting uh, for the facility. Okay. And so what exactly the type of work and experiments that are going to be, you know, benefit the most from this? So we have uh, five uh, major uh, avenue for for use of this laser. And one of the main avenue is uh, laser wave field electron acceleration mm -hmm. and application. So with three petawatt uh, driver, we can uh, accelerate electrons in just few centimeters of plasma to about 10 GeV. Uh, this will be, uh, you can be considered a tab tabletop synchrotron facility for X-ray science. So next uh, area of research uh, will be uh, laser production of protons, uh, ions, neutrons, and other particles. So we'll try to use a uh, light sail ion acceleration mode and to achieve about one GeV per nucleon acceleration. So we can produce positron, muons, and pions with this uh, proton beams. Also, we can we can think about medical application of proton or ion beams for, uh, for cancer uh, radiation therapy. So okay. next area of research will be strong field uh, physics and relativistic plasma. And that is nonlinear QED, measurements of uh, radiation reaction and measurements of uh, laser absorption mechanism at such ultra high intensities. Um, next area of research will be extreme laboratory astrophysics. With this laser uh, focusing on a solid target, we can generate enormous uh, magnetic fields can be 10 to the 5, uh, 10 to the 5, uh, power 5 Tesla. We can produce relativistic shock and generate uh, streaming electron and positron plasmas. Also, we can do uh, basic plasma physics with intense lasers 
and we can do also nuclear photonics because we produce a uh, high flux monochromatic gamma rays beam. Uh, we can do photofusion and uh, uh, produce also nuclear isom isomers for mm -hmm. high density energy storage. Well, so what ultimately, I mean, I know you've um, talked a bit about what this is going to do and, you know, who's going to be using it, but what does this mean overall for the photonics and optics industry? So um, in terms of um, uh, what Zeus means for photonics and optics industry, um, so I have to say that Zeus is a very complex system. And occupies approximately um, sixteen thousand uh, square foot area, of sixteen thousand square foot, and uh, it consists of thousands of optical elements. Um, it has a short uh, pulse front end, uh, many pump lasers uh, to pump large size titanium, sapphire crystal crystals, uh, several adaptive optic systems, large size gratings extended vacuum system, mounts, reflective focusing optics, actuators, and, and many other elements. So the output, output beam of Zeus is about 30 centimeters. Very challenging to produce optics of uh, this size. Sure. For example, for angle of incidence of 45 degrees, uh, with the angle of incidence of 45 degrees, will require uh, mirrors of uh, 50 centimeters. And it has to be a perfect mirror with very good optical quality. Mm -hmm. And also it coated with high di di uh, damage threshold dielectric coating to withstand this high power. Uh, also, so it's very challenging to produce uh, mirrors of this size and this quality. Uh, in Zeus, we are going to use, uh, in 3 petawatt compressor, we are going to use large size gratings and Two gratings uh, will have a size of 70 by 40 centimeters. So uh, you have uh, 100, more than 100 kilograms each. So the diameter of final Zeus Thai Sapphire amplifies is 17 centimeters. It is very challenging to grow a crystal of this size, uh, and we are still waiting for almost one year for a good crystal with a minimum defects to install into our system, yeah. So everything is very challenging, uh, and um, uh, that, uh, this is uh, very difficult for for companies, uh, very, very challenging for company to produce this kind of optical elements of this size, yeah. And so what would you say this means for, you know, research overall? Um, so main area of research, as I said, uh, tabletop uh, particle accelerators. Also the flagship experiment, that is a collision uh, of, uh, of high intensity beam, intensity 10 to the 22, 20, 10 to the 23 watts per square centimeter with uh, a GV electron beam. Mm -hmm. Nobody performs this, this type of experiment and our system is specifically designed for this experiment. That is to explore uh, nonlinear quantum electrodynamics and to produce uh, actually matter from light. That is the main purpose of Zeus, to produce matter from light. Okay, all right. Well, thank you again so much, Anatoly, for talking with me today. This is really exciting news. Congratulations on all your hard work. It's very exciting. Thank you so much.